Hello and welcome to Stock Voyage. We are checking out this week's biggest trades from Wall Street Bets. First, we have a huge gain from Thomas91, who was up by more than $700,000 on last Friday. That's a 300% gain. He made this money by buying Moderna calls. He bought these calls on November the 19th, and they expire on December the 3rd. Moderna stock jumped up on Black Friday due to the new COVID variant. He's asking if he should hold or sell his calls. Well, Moderna stock jumped up again on Monday, but then started to bleed from Tuesday on. Let's hope he secured the bread and on to the next one. But before we continue with the video, I just want to remind you that subscribing is totally free as 90% of you are not subscribed and subscribing is the best way you can support my channel. And here is a little secret, you can always change your mind for free. Without further ado, let's get back to the video. Next up, we have a huge loss from Bondus32. He's down $440,000 in total with just 20k left. Oh man, just look at that account bleed. If we take a look at the screenshot, we can see that the bleeding began around the middle of September. September. He's asking if anyone wants his girlfriend. Let's just check out the comments. Oh man, that's just too funny. And someone else is gonna pump her. <laughs> Dump and pump. Oh man, I can't believe this. Okay, next up we have a humongous gain from Kigain E5. He turned 2k into 43k in just a week. That's a 2100% gain. He made such a huge gain by buying weekly puts on Spy. And Spy has been falling for the past week, mainly due to fears about the new COVID variant. Next up we have a huge loss from Robin 7907. This trader went the other way and bought calls on Spy and is down by $6,965 in total, which is around 19% of his portfolio. But most of these calls expire in the next year, so if he held on and the stock market continues to rally, he should be fine. Next up we have Sawyer Jenkins, with a huge return of over 1000%, for a total return of $18,579.63. He's up by so much on GameStop. I can't believe this. This is the definition of diamond hands. He's still holding it. His average cost is $17.20. The last time GameStop was that low was in the beginning of January, before the short squeeze. Huge respect to this guy. Next we have a loss from Princess Audrey 1776. This is the complete opposite of the previous trade. This trader made 100k on GameStop in January and then swiftly lost it all. She took out and blew 10k. She also bought a used 2017 E300 Mercedes, but she says she won't quit. She'll be back around March when she gets her bonus. She's also saying the loss is from Clovis Oncology Leaps. A true Wall Street bad story. We can see that the bleeding began somewhere around February. And if we take a look at the Clovis Oncology stock, we can also see that the stock has been falling ever since. Man, that's extremely bad timing. This trader by the name of ICU made a 50k gain because he bought Pfizer puts. He says that he bought what his friends told him to buy. I can't tell if that's sarcasm or not, but damn, that's a huge gain. As you know, Pfizer stock jumped up last Friday and then just sold off on Monday. So from what I can see, he bought this put on Monday and if he sold it at the end of the Monday, he should be in profit. Next up we have Skyline 917. This trader is down 65% or $33,000 in total. He's down so much because he owns shares of Wish. To be honest, lately I have seen a lot of losses on this stock and this stock represents 99% of his whole portfolio. This stock has been falling since February and is down by around 90% since. Next we have a trader that we have already seen in this video, Kigaini5. If you don't remember, he turned 2k into 43k in one week. Well, the story continues. In addition to three days, he managed to turn that 43k into 137k. Will he lose it all like a true Wall Street bad trader, or will he become a millionaire? He might make an update in the future. If you want to know what happened, subscribe to my channel and press the notifications bell down below because I'm making a new Wall Street bad video every week. And if he makes a new post, he will definitely be in my video. Next, we have Flashy Echo 8099. This trader is down on a whole bunch of stocks. Biggest losses on Roku, Paypal and Alibaba. Well, he doesn't own stocks, so if he just waits, they might recover. Anyway, he's hoping that this helps heal your wounds. Next, we have a trader named Caspian C. He sold and locked in on 700% profit. He made such a huge gain by buying long AMD calls. And he sold at a peak. <laughs> Would you look at that? That's something an investor would do and not a Wall Street Bets trader. He made a total gain of $637,000. Yeah, just look at this graph. AMD has been killing it this year. Anyway, on to the next one. For the last trade, we have a loss on Robinhood. This trader owns 500 shares of Robinhood at an average cost of $36.30. By the time of posting this screenshot, he was down by 28%. But if you take a look at the chart, you can see that the stock fell even lower and he should be down by around 32%. 
I just want to remind you that subscribing is totally free as 90% of you are not subscribed and subscribing is the best way you can support my channel. And here is a little secret, you can always change your mind for free. If you have any recommendations or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more, let me know by smashing that like button. And thanks for watching.